Good morning and welcome as we continue our thoughts for the day. Let's pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him? with all your mind. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Christ, have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. And the psalm is Psalm 130, verse 7. O Israel, put your hope in the Lord, for with the Lord is unfailing love, and with him is full redemption. Amen. 2 Kings 10 and verse 15. 2 Kings 10 and verse 15. After he left there, he came upon, upon Jehonadab, son of Rechab, who was on his way to meet him. Jehu greeted him and said, Are you in accord with me as I am with you? And Romans 5, verse 5. And hope does not disappoint us, because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, whom he has given us. <clears throat> and continuing the story of Corrie ten Boom. If you remember yesterday, the man came forward at the end of a meeting and offered her his hand. He was a guard that she recognised from the concentration camp at Ravensbrück. The man began to speak to Corrie. A fine message, Fraulein. How good it is to know that, as you say, all our sins are at the bottom of the sea. You mentioned Ravensbrück in your talk. Well, I was a guard there. It was obvious to Corrie that he had not recognised her, but she had never forgotten his face. The man continued, You know, since that time I have found Christ as my saviour, and I know that he has forgiven me for all the terrible things I did. However, I would like to hear you say it too, Fraulein. Again he reached out his hand. Will you forgive me too? Corrie stood, looking at the face of her former tormentor, a man responsible for the death of her sister. She recoiled in anger and contempt at the ter as the terrible memories came flooding back. Hatred welled up within her. How could she forgive this man? She held her own hand behind her back as she wrestled with the awful contradictions that were raging inside her. Love and forgiveness had been her message to others, but right now it seemed impossible to practice it herself. One of her favourite sayings was, Forgiveness is not an emotion, it's an act of the will. Poor Corrie. Her emotions had failed her. All that remained now was her will. Silently she lifted up a prayer to heaven, Jesus, please help me. I can stretch out my hand, I can do that much. 
you need to supply the feeling. Awkwardly, hesitantly, she reached out her hand. Suddenly her prayer was answered, for immediately her heart was filled with the love of God for this man. I forgive you, my brother, she cried. With all my heart, I forgive you too. And our meditation for today, day 19, really is a haven. Lord, take this song and fill it with your presence. Let it bring a word of hope to weary, careful hearts. Take this song and fill it, Lord. Fill it with yourself. Lord, take my life and fill it with your praises. Let me speak a word of peace that Jesus brings in me. Take this life and fill it, Lord. Fill it with yourself. Lord, take this place and fill it with your blessing. Let it be a haven where the poor in spirit sing. Take this place and fill it, Lord. Fill it with your praise. And we'll pause here to pray. And we continue with the words of the canticle. Christ as a light illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me on my left and my right. And the blessing. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.